On the last day of evidence at the Stephen Lawrence murder trial, the mother of one of the accused has, for the first time in 18 years, provided her son with an alibi. David Norris's mother said her son was at home the night Stephen Lawrence was murdered. Under cross-examination, David Norris said he couldn't remember where he was that night, but insisted he's innocent. From the Old Bailey, our home affairs correspondent, Tom Simons, sent this report. David Norris is now 35 years old. Today, he entered the witness box to be questioned about a murder which happened when he was just 16. Mr Norris was asked repeatedly by the prosecuting barrister where was he the night Stephen was killed in the London suburb of Eltham. Each time he said he couldn't remember but he was sure he wasn't in Eltham. I'm an innocent man, he insisted. I was not in the Eltham area. He was asked again by the prosecution barrister Mark Ellison where was he at the time of the murder. He said, you are accusing me of murder, sir. I am an innocent man. Clothing fibres found on this sweatshirt, seized from Mr Norris's house, allegedly link him to the scene of the crime. But the defendant's brother Clifford testified today that the top had been his 18 years ago. And possibly these stained jeans as well, on which a hair matching Stephen's DNA was found. And then David Norris's mother, Teresa, took the stand. She insisted he had been at home that night. Mark Ellison, QC, prosecuting, said, you've made that up. She said, I've made nothing up. But he went on, until today, there has not been a breath uttered that you would be able to give an alibi. But despite his questioning, she maintained her position. He had been at home that night. Mr Norris said he was a regular visitor to Bornbrook Road, where Neil and Jamie Acourt lived, close to the murder scene. But he lived seven miles away, and his mother didn't allow him out late. The following year, under suspicion of murder, he was filmed in a covert police video that's been shown to the court, discussing how he wanted to attack and maim black people. He told the jury, I apologise, you had to sit here and listen to it. I wouldn't dream of doing it. I had just been accused of a terrible murder. I was angry, especially with the police force. It was all part of growing up, he said. He later said, I'm not suggesting for one moment that I was some sort of angel, because I was not. But that does not make me a murderer. I'm not capable of murder, sir. Today's witnesses marked the end of the evidence in the Stephen Lawrence murder trial. The case will now be summarised for the jury before they consider their verdicts. Tom Simons, BBC News, at the Old Bailey.